So what's going on guys, Mr. Dalek JD here, and what I've got for you in today's video is potentially one of the biggest ghost videos I've made so far this year for my YouTube channel. Now, a few days ago I made a video covering the new Call of Duty Ghost Squad trailer, and within that I spoke a little bit about how the new safeguard modes, as well as the other modes, would be almost Infinity Ward's version of Zombies. You know, they've tried with Survival and Modern Warfare 3 as their own variant on Zombies, and it wasn't the greatest, but within that trailer, Trailer, there was something very very interesting now in one of the screenshots of the menus it showed a little bit of text saying play extinction online and this drew a lot of conspiracy on what extinction actually was so no one really had any ideas until last night when the full achievements for Call of Duty Ghosts were revealed including the secret achievements and this is where things get very very interesting so if you go on and enjoy this video just take a second out of your day to click the like button I believe that this video is gonna blow your mind and the more people that see this the better it's honestly getting me very very excited so there's been no mention so far of extinction mode in anything that Infinity Ward have revealed for Call of Duty Ghosts. We've seen everything so far including campaign, multiplayer and squads mode, but of course extinction was there in the trailer. So looking at these secret achievements relating to the new extinction mode might offer us some clues about what this mode is all about. Now within these, you see all these icons which look very interesting indeed. One of them is the ghost's mask picture but instead of it being normal it's been swapped upside down and it's got these weird claws which looks somewhat alienish then when we go to look at these achievements one that's very very interesting is one called any means necessary which you unlock by getting 50 kills with the electric fence and fire traps in a single game now hearing those words electric fence and fire traps as usable traps in a mode sounds very very similar to zombies so if we piece together all these we can get the idea that there's going to be some sort of survival mode like zombies but instead of with zombies it could be potentially with aliens of course extinction sounds like something that used to exist but has now gone into extinction so we can say stuff like dinosaurs but I can't honestly see us fighting dinosaurs aliens sound like a much better term and a much better sort of enemy that we fight against there seems to be a lot of aliens creeping around in video games right now Grand Theft Auto 5's got aliens, so why won't ghosts have aliens? And if we go and look at more of these achievements, we see No Man Left escape with all four players. So that means that this new extension mode is going to be a co-op mode with up to four players, which says to escape. Now this doesn't mean to survive to a certain round or whatever like that, and it's not going to be something that infinite that will go on for an infinite amount of time like zombies. Of course with zombies we've had end games, but they haven't exactly been something where we've like we have a the map as sorts but it hasn't exactly been an ending ending where you know you actually finish it and that's it so this mode isn't going to be something with an infinite round it's just going to be something like a, a bonus mode where we can escape now another one is escape using a relic and we got this little symbol that says free with an icon and that free looks very similar to the modern warfare free logo i honestly can't make any sort of ideas on what that could mean Let's go on to the next one. The next one is Made It Out Alive, Escape First Time. And we've got an interesting image of what looks like a creature who's used their like claws and has ripped something. So obviously with the idea of this extinction mode is to escape, of course. So the idea of escaping is in most of these achievements. And the last one is to complete all extinction challenges and escape. So this is very interesting. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below of a alien survival mode inside of Call of Duty Ghosts. I had a feeling that, you know, with Squad Safeguard, which is a, a mode where you have either up to 20 rounds of enemies, 40 rounds or infinite rounds of enemies using stuff like perks, killstreaks and stuff. It sounds fun, but it doesn't have uh, a long lifespan. And I was hoping that wouldn't be the only sort of uh, co-op mode that they'd have inside of Call of Duty Ghosts. But it looks like they had something very awesome up their sleeves. And I can say that I don't think they'd release a trailer for this. I think this would be something which we would find out as when the game comes out so we can find out for ourselves as this is so new. Now, I remember when Zombies came out, they never really mentioned anything about it. It was just like a hidden game mode which you unlocked at the end of the campaign and look what it became it became like the most sought after mode in any game for co-op like when you think of zombies you always think of call of duty zombies 
And so why can't Infinity Ward make a mode which can be as memorable as zombies? And so now with Infinity Ward, we could potentially have an awesome alien survival mode. And with Treyarch, we've got the awesome zombie survival mode. So this is going to be really awesome. And whatever Extinction turns out to be, I'm going to have videos of it on my channel. So make sure that you're subscribed if you haven't already. So you can catch up with all the information on Call of Duty Ghosts, including this awesome Extinction mode. Now I can't stress enough that you guys send this video around to your friends to share the idea and concept of an alien survival mode inside of Call of Duty Ghosts. Now this is only 4 of 10 achievements I believe or it's 4 of 10 challenges involved in this extinction mode so there's still 6 more challenges that we don't fully know about extinction which could reveal more about its mode and I can honestly see it now as being a really awesome co-op mode which could be supported with DLC maps and it just sounds awesome like I'm not saying I'm not excited for Ghosts at all before I, before this extinction mode uh, like stuff came about but there was not really like the same zombie co-op thing that always gets me excited for when the next Treyarch game comes out. I was st I'm still going to enjoy Call of Duty Ghosts regardless but the fact that there is now this hidden co-op mode which sounds very similar to an alien survival mode it's really got me very excited for the game and I'm just so pumped to see what happens with this mode. So if you thought that was it for the secret achievements in Call of Duty Ghosts then you are wrong there are a couple more and there may be some more that are actually regarding extinction now there's one that says make it to the cabin and make it to the city and the make it to the city one has the weird uh, cod ghost skull image that's been flipped upside down that looks kind of alienish and that makes it sound like if this survival mode is to take place on a map, it sounds like a big map if there is the option to go to a cabin or to a city, which is just ridiculous. And there's also Trash Picker, which is to scavenge 40 items in a single game, as well as Sprinter, which is to reach the Xfield Chopper with 1 minute and 30 seconds or more remaining on the clock. Now, I'm not sure if that's related to Extinction, but... Those achievements make it sound like this could be set in a very huge map and that's why I think DLC could be supported for more maps for this mode and it just sounds amazing. If there is any more information on Extinction Mode then I'll be sure to bring it to you guys on my channel so make sure you subscribe for that and I'm just going to leave you with a really awesome post roll from someone that you may recognise from the Call of Duty Black Ops series who has a very awesome Kickstarter campaign going for a zombie film. That's right, I'm just going to leave you guys to watch it. Here we go. Hi, I'm James C. Burns. A lot of you know me as Sergeant Frank Woods from Call of Duty Black Ops 1 and 2. We're making a zombie movie. It's called Nam Zombies. Go to Kickstarter, find Nam Zombies. Check it out.